Vintage Sound, 93.1 FM, Rolling Stones, Dance, Little Sister, how we doing? 8.33, Thursday morning, 22 degrees, with snow on the horizon. Yeah, that's exciting, isn't it? Just what I wanted to do, shovel. Not really, but I'm trying to be optimistic about it, I promise. Still to come on the show before we head out at 10, Special K cereal uh, has a secret ingredient that might hurt you. Whether or not that's true, we'll get to that in a few minutes. Facebook helps to bust the manatee hugger. And he would not remove a pasta strainer for this picture. Didn't want to do it. Mm -mm. No, sir, he didn't. <laughs> this guy's kind of an idiot. Let's be honest. Let's call it what it is. Here's a good event coming up in our area. Big Brothers, Big Sisters in Muscatine County present Bowl for Kids' Sake, happening March 16th and 17th at Playmore Lanes here in Muscatine. Whether you're a pro or you just like having fun with your friends, this event is perfect for you. You can sign your team up by going to muscatinebfks.org, where you can pick up a team packet from the Muscatine YMCA. Join us in helping to create a brighter future for the youth of our community at Bowl for Kids' Sake with Big Brothers, Big Sisters of Muscatine County and Vintage Sound. Joining me in the studio now is Jeff Mills. He's with the Mills Muscatine Paranormal Research Society. How you doing, buddy? I'm good. How are you? Good, 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 good. Let me turn my chair around so I can see you. That's kind of a tongue twister. <laughs> yeah. But do you, do you abbreviate it? Yeah, we just go by MPRS. MPRS. Or whatever, yeah. Would it be double M or just single M? Just single. Single M. See, yeah. I had written double M. <laughs> okay, um, so for those uh, who aren't familiar with what you do, you do paranormal investigations. Yep. And I am a big fan of that, 100%. Um, I, you know, I guess I've always kind of watched those reality shows that are on, but then at the same time, I think I've had some experiences. Sure. Uh, I used to work in the Quad Cities at a radio station that was in a former funeral home. Okay. So yeah. I'm sure you've heard of that yeah. on Brady Street. And everybody that worked there kind of had their own story about it being haunted. And um, I was working there one summer, part-time, and it was about 95 degrees outside and inside the studio because our central air broke and they were too cheap to fix it. So it was that hot in the studio. Long story short, I had left, come back, and as I was about to sit down, I felt something like ice cold across the back of my neck. And it totally creeped me out. Sure. So I feel like that was one of my first experiences with the paranormal. Then another one that I'll tell you was uh, in October, my grandma died. And she and I were extremely close. I'm like, you know, the oldest grandkid on that side. And she was like 96 or 93. Obviously, I'm a bad grandson for not remembering how old she was. <laughs> but anyway, so she passed away. And then, like, that next weekend, my wife said I, like, sat up in bed and was looking like somebody was standing across our bed. And I said, uh, I guess I was crying. And I said, thank you for everything. And then I went back to sleep. So... Hmm. I don't know if maybe she was hanging out at our house before she crossed over or what, sure. but these are, uh, those are my experiences. So yeah. how long have you been doing the investigations? Um, we were founded in January 2010, so cool. a little over three years. Awesome. Is this a family affair? Actually, yeah. Okay. Uh, me, my father, and my brother all founded the team then. Awesome. Um, it was kind of due to my, my father's experience as a child. Sure. He, um, he would lived in an old farmhouse and he when he'd go to bed he would see like a, a black shadow that would come to his door and mm -hmm. you know of course his parents would say it's just his imagination and stuff. Sure. But to him he knew it was real right so that kind of stemmed the whole thing and the fascination and then from there we just started the team that's creepy a black shadow yeah oh, gosh. <laughs> um so i wonder if that was negative energy um don't really know you know it's hard yeah. to tell on it's hard to tell does he still see that same figure or no 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 it was just in this uh particular farmhouse it would have been so is that house still standing you know i'm not sure somebody's I, I probably know. seen that <laughs> right you guys need to help who's ever in there <laughs> right. there's probably a kid that's doing the same thing your dad was doing <laughs> right. hey there's some creepy shadow at my door no 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 <laughs> That'd be interesting to find out if that's the case. Um, the website for you guys is muscatine-paranormal.com. I'm totally enthralled in this. I think it's fascinating. I, I believe in it for sure. I mean, there was just a, a book released, I think a year ago, from a guy who is essentially like one of the top brain surgeons in the country. I don't know if you've heard about this. It's called Proof of Heaven. And he was like a man of science and didn't believe that after you die, you go anywhere. Anyway, so he had like a near-death experience. 
and wrote this crazy true book about his experience and where he went when he was clinically dead and came back. So mm -hmm. I think there's a lot of interest in stuff like that. And obviously, the paranormal, there's like 16 reality shows. Right. Um, yeah, all over the place. So there's, you know, people watch Ghost Adventures, Ghost Hunters, um, and those are fine. Like, I, you know, I set the DVR, I watch them all. Mm -hmm. But one of the, and I'm, I'm assuming you've probably heard of this guy, Chad Kalick, yeah. who was a part of. Uh, what was the name of that show in Annie? Yeah, uh, yeah. What was that? I always forget about that. Paranormal State. There you go. There we go. Yep. So Chad Kalick is a native Iowan, and he had this incredible documentary called American Ghost Hunter. Oh, really? That he has, what they did is they kind of did like a grassroots tour, and they took it across the country, and he stopped in Davenport probably a year and a half ago with Ryan Buell Ryan and some Buell, of the other yeah. guys yep. uh, that were on Paranormal State. So the documentary is called American Ghost Hunter, and... For somebody, I guess I might have been on the fence a little 